Question 3 of the exam. The voltage across a load, the tall curve, the red one in volts, this one, and the current in that load, the lower curve, in amps, the green one, this one, can be seen in the figure below. What type of a load is this one? Inductive or capacitive? So this is the voltage and this is the current. Because the current is lagging behind the voltage, the load is inductive and that is what we write. Inductive. And that ends part A of the question. It says then, what are the active power and the reactive power absorbed by the load? We're given the peak value of the voltage, so we have the phasor of the voltage. We say the voltage as a phasor has peak value. These are RMS phasors or IEEE phasors, right? So RMS value with zero degrees. That is a voltage and the current. The phasor for current, I repeat, the RMS or IEEE phasor is peak value 10 which is given, we can measure that, or we can just read it here. 10 amps divided by root 2. And the phase, what is the phase of that one? Well, that phase is this little angle here. Mm -hmm. What angle is that? Well, you say it's 2 ticks. Well, what is uh, 1 tick? Let's see. In 180 degrees from here to there, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 ticks. So every tick is 18 degrees, 2 ticks is 36 degrees. So I say this phase shift is 36 degrees. The current is lagging, the phase is negative 36 degrees. That is the current. And then what? And then I compute power using Charles Steinmetz of formula for power. The power is V times the complex conjugate of I, and that is 20 root 2, the RMS value of the voltage, 10 root 2, divided by root 2, the RMS value of the current, and uh, this angle, right, would be minus minus 36, that is 36 degrees. And that has a real part and an imaginary part, which is, it would be uh, 200 divided by 2, 100 cosine of 36, and that is the active power, this value here. And we get the active power absorbed by the load is 80.9 watts, which we write here, 80.9 watts. And the reactive power is, of course, the imaginary part of this complex number, which is just 200 times the sine of 36, that is Q, 58.8 of R. 58.8 of ours. And that is the solution to question number three. Thank you very much.